We've reached the warm summer months and Ariat has designed a boot specifically for the season. After many requests from you guys, I'm finally taking a look at a Ventec boot from Ariat. Today, we are checking out the Ventec Ultra with the narrow square toe. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thanks for clicking on this video today. Before we begin, I need to mention that this video is also sponsored by Ariat. However, it is in my contract with them not to let that affect my opinion or review of these boots. Still, it's something that you should know. Huge thanks to Ariat for supporting the channel. Now, we gotta get into the rundown. The Ariat Ventec Ultra is full grain leather on the foot and the shaft. And you can also see that this has a saddle vamp with an extra piece of leather that's wrapped across that instep. It also features a narrow square toe, love the look of this toe, and a double stitched welt. However, this is not a true double stitched welt because usually when you see double stitched welts, the stitching will run through the outsole. This is just here for looks. It's not running through the outsole and it is mainly cement construction. So this double stitching here is just for looks it's also 11 inches tall, and on the shaft you can see those Ventec mesh panels which allow air to flow through, keeping your leg cool. Hopefully, we'll see in the extended test here. And we also have pull holes up top as well. We do have a little bit taller of a heel on this boot coming in at two inches. It's a composite heel. And even though you do see lines that make it look like stacked leather, it is composite and it feels like the same material that is making up the bantamweight outsole. That's right, let's talk about the bantamweight outsole because it is a very lightweight boot. It actually feels about the same weight as a leather outsole boot, an all leather boot, which is very light, except you're gonna get a little bit more traction from this. I did a video about a bantamweight boot called the Plano in 2019, and that was a very cool boot as it was, even without the Ventec, so I'm interested to see how cool this boot can actually be since it's already going to be cooler by default thanks to this bantamweight outsole. On the inside, we have what they're calling their ecstatic lining, and it just feels like mesh, kind of like the same type of mesh that you would feel in a pair of gym shorts. It's really interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it feels like when it's on my foot. As an insole, we have their ATS Pro, but it doesn't look like any ATS Pro that I've seen before. This is blue and it feels a little bit more foamy, like maybe it might even have a little bit more rebound. So this ATS Pro is completely completely different than what I expected by looking at the specs from this boot. And that's something good to know before you uh, actually get this boot and then you're kind of disappointed that it's not exactly the same ATS Pro that you may be used to in your previous Ariats. But it doesn't feel like it'll disappoint. However, we'll find out during the extended test. This boot is also made in China and it's coming in at $220. Now we gotta put this boot on to see how it looks and feels. All right, I have the Ventec Ultra boots on right now with the Bantamweight sole and damn, it is so light. Much lighter than what I'm used to wearing. It just feels like there's nothing there. I did go with the 11D for this boot and usually with Ariat wide square toes, I have to do an 10 and a half D. But because that this is a little bit more of a narrow toe and it's gonna kind of close in on my foot a little bit more, I didn't think that I could do the 10 and a half D and I'm glad that I didn't because this is the perfect fit for me with this boot. It feels great and I love the look of that toe shape. That is a great looking square toe right there. The leather is very stiff so I'm not looking forward to the break in process. It's very similar to the Plano and many other made in China Ariat boots. It kind of looks like the Ariat Heritage Rough Stock too with that saddle vamp there. The insole was not what I expected when I took it out of the boot. It didn't look like other ATS Pros, but it does feel like it has more rebound. 
it feels a little bit more squishy than the ATS Pro that we've seen on a regular basis on this channel. So I'm gonna have to email them to see if this has a new name or if this is just the new ATS Pro insole. I can't say I hate it though. It feels very nice. I might even like it better than the previous ATS Pro. Everything about this boot on the bottom feels squishy from the insole to the outsole to the heel. It has a lot of features that feel like a sneaker, like a, like a stiff sneaker because that leather is very stiff on the top, but it feels like a very athletic build. I can't give you any information about the Ventec yet. It just feels like a regular boot at this point in time. It might help with the weight of the boot. It kind of feels a little lighter than the Plano. We'll have to see about that. But uh, overall, I'm looking forward to trying this boot out some more. Looking forward to it. I like the look of it. Here's what it looks like POV. That square toe does look slick. I love the look of the narrow square toe. Some companies call it a seven toe. Some companies might even call it a cutter toe, but I think it's a great look no matter what you call it. Now it's time for an extended test to see what these can do and how they hold up. So let's go. I went to my brother Levi's house to help him out with some landscaping and mulching. Here is the before, we gotta mulch around the house so it's easier for him to mow and of course, to make it look better too. And it all starts with edging. As the day started to warm up a little bit, it was time to shamelessly promote my new album, Life is for Taking Chances. Life is for Taking Chances, crew. Let's do it. Levi, what's your favorite song on the album? Either Dusty Vines or Romeo and Juliet. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Great shirt. Yeah, buddy. Get the shirts at the store or listen to the album on Spotify. Let's get back to work. Yeah. Yes, I raise my glass to the sky. And toast to the whole desert away. Yes, the west is still wide when you look on it for miles, but there's a new kind of gold rush this time. Bring in the riches straight to your lips. It's the wine from this dusty vine. finished up edging around the house and it was time to take a break and go see my nephew play some baseball. Yeah. All right. All right. Good eye. That's the way to get on base. Since we went to the game, we used Busy Dad 101 time saving. So instead of removing all of the sod where the mulch was going to go, we just weed whacked and sprayed. Then it was time to put down some mulch. Slipped in through the skylights, just two pocket marble rows. They move so graceful in the night, but leave thousands in the drawer. It's done for the deed and not the dollar. Soon my nephew came back from his game and he wanted to help out too. And of course he was wearing cowboy boots. As Levi and I were getting excited about how everything was looking, <laughs> my nephew wanted to call it quits. Oh, well, it's starting to rain. That doesn't mean you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need another one. Go get another one. It's starting to rain. <laughs> There's no time for that. We got to finish this today. But of course, there's always time to goof around with my younger nephew, too. We finished up the final side of the house that we had planned, 
And here are the results. Wow, does it look good. All in all, I had a great time working in these area Ultra Ventec narrow square toe boots. Alright, so I'm back with the Ariat Ventec Ultra boots and they were a little bit dirty so I scrubbed them up with saddle soap and here's how they looked after that. And then I gave them a little bit of mink oil treatment which darkened it but it will condition as well. So they are looking great now. The Ventec Ultra is like the perfect hybrid between cowboy boot and sneaker. As some background, Beth Cross, the co-founder of Ariat, used to work at Reebok, and when she approached them with the idea to make a more athletic cowboy boot, they said no, and then she started Ariat. When I think about that history, I completely understand this boot. It feels like a sneaker for good and bad. The good? It's lightweight. It comes in at one pound and nine ounces, which is a very light boot and actually lighter than a lot of traditionally made all leather cowboy boots. It's even a little bit lighter than the Plano, which is a bantamweight sole boot without the Ventec technology, but only by one ounce. The Plano was one pound 10 ounces, and like I said, this one is one pound nine ounces. So really not that much of a difference, but it is a little bit lighter. Another good thing about this boot is that it actually does keep your legs cool. This Ventec isn't just a gimmick. It won't keep your feet from sweating, but it does increase the overall airflow that you get inside this boot. Especially with short ankle socks like this. I know a lot of you guys out there aren't huge fans of ankle socks. I'm not a fan either but I wanted to try it with this boot just to see if it made a difference and it made a huge difference and they actually covered this seam on the inside with a small strip of mesh or fabric, which makes me think that this boot is actually meant to be worn with shorter socks so that you can take full advantage of that airflow without any seams on the inside rubbing against your leg and causing blisters. So it seemed like they thought about that ahead of time. So ankle socks is definitely a good way to go in this boot if that was your style and the insole feels great. I contacted Ariat about this blue ATS Pro since it's not like the usual purple ATS Pro and they told me that this is a recent redesign that uses a more breathable foam that is meant to pair with the Ventec boots. They said that there are several redesigned ATS Pros out there but you will most commonly find this blue one in the Ventec boots. That makes it a little bit difficult to know what ATS Pro you're going to be getting if you are buying online, but the chances that you'll be getting a blue ATS Pro in the Ventec seems to be a lot higher than the purple one of the past. And they also told me that this blue ATS Pro is not sold after market, so you can only get it in the boots. Another good thing about this boot is that it looks great. Love the narrow square toe. I think this is one of the best square toe looks that you can get and it's also pretty durable too. I got a pretty nice gouge in the side of this boot in the leather and you can kind of see where it's scraped up on the bantamweight outsole but I didn't get any impression or any gouge in the bantamweight outsole itself so it's a little bit more durable than what I would have thought it would be coming into it. Now let's cover the bad. Because it uses cement construction, once anything wears out or breaks on this boot, it's pretty much done. Getting a boot with a traditional construction and a good year welt means it can be resold and it could end up lasting you decades getting four, five, six or more resoles out of it. I don't think that this boot is gonna last you decades because it can't be resold. If it could be resold, it would have to be done by a special area facility, and that's a big if. Another downside to this boot is that the bantamweight outsole and heel loses its color. This can happen to leather too along the heel and the outside of the outsole, but they make a special product for it called edge dressing. Edge dressing wouldn't work on this composite because it can't soak into it. So it's just losing that color and you really can't do much 
to save that color loss, except maybe spray paint, but then you'd have to tape all of this off and it's gonna be a, a horrible sort of process. So I hope that Ariat figures out some process to keep this color along the heel and the outside of the outsole a little bit longer because really it was only a few weeks before I got an enormous amount of color loss. At $220, I have a tough time coming to terms with the fact that this boot can't be resold. That said, it is everything that it claims to be. It's lightweight, it has lots of cushioning at the insole and the outsole, plus it's really cool, which I know is important for those of you in the Southwest USA or Australia. If you're looking for a boot with more of an athletic feel, this is a good option, but don't expect it to last as long as a traditionally made boot. Let me know what you think of the Ariat Ventec Ultra down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today, and thanks to Ariat for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I'll see you next time. Peace. You know they light weights. You know they feel great. Combining the boots with the sneaker traits. Yes. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this one about the Ariat Holder boots with the Shock Shield technology. Or I got a video down here about my new album, Life is for Taking Chances. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.